My name is uh, Paul Gedien. I'm responsible in Philips Design for the strategy of the design team and for the innovation competences. We look into the future. We look into trends in technology development, social cultural development, and then we sketch how propositions in the future could look like uh, and how the jobs will change of people in the, in the future and their activities. What we do then is we translate that back to the roadmaps of the existing uh, businesses or new businesses if we uh, need them. So from a strategic and future perspective we're really influencing all the roadmaps of the Philips businesses. Well, what I'm really proud of what we, in what we do is that we develop really uh, things that matter for people. So, uh, so Philips and also my department is moving more and more in what we call health tech, so the health uh, environment and there we develop products that save lives of people and that really make a big impact. The one we recently worked on is about the neonatal intensive care unit, incubators for small uh, babies and what we do there we really focus on the on the baby and all the care around the uh, the baby and we're also introducing new technologies so for instance camera based technology so that we monitor the baby instead of sticking electrodes on the baby's skin so really focusing on uh, on the end use of the baby in this case so I selected uh, industrial design because I was really interested in, uh, in technology but seeing different faculties in Delft uh, the industrial design faculty was the faculty that was really close to end users and developing products uh, that really touched the lives of end users in a very direct uh, way and that's why I picked uh, this term. Uh, what, what design students or design engineers from, uh, from Delft are really good at is uh, uh, combining different things. So the breadth of uh, uh, the education is, is really good. So knowing about technology, knowing about end users, knowing about uh, uh, business. So all the different aspects that you need to, uh, to develop a proper uh, proposition and on proposition level but also a strategy level uh, is I think quite unique in the world. I think a core quality of a designer is that the designer is able to visualize things and that can be products but it can also be systems or experiences uh, or even uh, uh, processes and in my way the ability to visualize uh, complex uh, uh, stuff is really uh, helpful. I think Philips is a really interesting uh, company as a designer to, uh, to work with. You can work on consumer products, but also on professional products. And you do that in a global context. So you work together with design colleagues and with other Philips colleagues from all over the world. And we have studios all over the world and it's really nice uh, to do. I think uh, design as a, as a discipline will uh, play an increasingly important role in the, in the future. And what we see in the, in the services and systems that we're now developing is uh, that they're really transforming. They're transforming people's lives or they're transforming uh, uh, businesses. And design plays a key role in defining these, uh, these transformations. Because in the end, it's people that need to do it. So people need to change, you need to activate people. Uh, and design is the discipline that, uh, that is closest to people in the country.